show guys we are joined right now by our guest she is the beautiful amazing and sensational singer and songwriter lola ray in the beauty to have you. Hi, hi, lola. thank you for having wow. me Thank you. It's it's great to have you. Thank I you. must say, and yes, you are extremely yes. beautiful. Thank you so much. Great. Yeah, lovely. Good. Looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> I try, yeah. especially today. <laughs> so tell me, where did you get your name from, Lola uh, Ray? My name, well, my actual stage, name is your stage name. It's my stage, stage name. name. Yeah. 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 My actual name is Rachel Fumilola Mamiafua Garten. Okay. okay. And <laughs> then I got Fumilola, shortened it to Lola, and then Rachel to Ray. So Ray. Lola Ray. Ray. Yeah. Lola Ray. Anyways, wow, uh, I, cool. that, that is nice. Thank really you. good. So what's uh, your heritage? Because I had Nigeria and I had Ghana. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm Nigerian, Ghanaian, and English, but really I'm Ghanaian and British. But because I was born in Nigeria and I lived there for 16 years, mm -hmm. that's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how it's for me. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's Great. Good. That's good. And do you speak all the languages? Do you speak anything in Nigeria? Do you speak Ghana? I speak Tree. Yeah, from Ghana. Okay. And I speak. Yoruba, but I have some. I've got really rusty at it. But I was in Nigeria two weeks ago, and I picked up on it, so it's oh, got much better so now. Well, Yoruba, yeah. Yeah. Yoruba, okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Well, I must say you've come a long way from Britain's Got Talent yeah. in 2010, and I remember when you, your eyes popped when Simon said. <laughs> that is very good and you're like ooh like you didn't believe it you know <laughs> so coming from that girl who, who, who didn't believe that yeah. am I that good to someone who is so confident right now oh, and actually just touring um, how would you say your journey has been it's been very hard because it was a transition from jazz to afro pop okay but God really does everything for a reason mm -hmm. so I have to admit now looking back I'm really proud of what I've achieved because, you know, I've left Simon Cowell because I was signed for a year oh, okay. with him and I left that situation and I just thought the best place for me to go is back home. Okay. So I started doing Afrobeats and, and here I am. And here you are. That, wow. that's, that's beautiful, I must say. And how did you get into Afrobeat? Can um, you tell us? I met my manager through a friend okay. and um, at the time, a record label in Nigeria, a really well-known record label, were looking for a female artist. Mm. So she was like, why don't you try it? I was like, no. And then she was like, no, just try it. As soon as I tried it, it just mm. clicked. It just clicked. Yeah. Before that, were you listening to any Afrobeat? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What, oh was your, what was your not first Afrobeat you listened to? And you're oh, like, my wow. first one. Can you remember? Daddy Lumba. <laughs> <laughs> something <laughs> like that. Like something old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I used to with the group Mystical. Well, well, I knew you were Mystical before, mm -hmm. and then you were dancing. Do you still dance? And are you still in touch with Mystical? I'm still very much in touch. Like even one of my mystical friends has come with me to the interview oh, today, that's good. and oh, all of them were in the video as well. Okay. Majority of them. I still dance. I'm a bit rusty, but for performances, I'm getting back into it because okay. it's a must. Yeah. That is amazing. Thank so you. let's talk about your single "Watch My Thing Go." Yes. You know, as a <laughs> Love that the is, video. Yeah, that is Thank a very you. very good vibe. And then I could say you're very fierce when you're oh, wow. performing, and you know have all the expressions. So Thank yeah. Yes, and that also showed in Watch My Thing Go. How did it all come about? Um, the song came about because we were talking about, you know, African women and their beautiful figures <laughs> and how endowed they, they are. are. And we were talking about girls in clubs and how, you know, to get a guy's attention, they're really getting guys to watch their thing go. And then that's how it came about. And the video came about because I met um, a group of directors called YOCF. Okay. They work for Angel in England. Mm. And um, they heard the song, they're like, we'd love to shoot the video. We sat down and we planned in two weeks. In two weeks. Wow. And how did you manage to get Yaya to do cooking? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, if, if I'm talking about anything to do, watch my tingle, we need Yaya. <laughs> <laughs> we need a way. Yes, <laughs> we, need we definitely do. So he was mm. shooting his video. Yeah. And I begged and pleaded. I was like, please. And my manager knows, is very good friends with him. And he was like, you know, of course, I'll come down. So that was amazing. Him and yeah, Emma Naira were both yes, in the video. Yes, wow. You yes. know, so that was incredible. And I know coming this far, you've all, all, you know, had obstacles. How do you deal with obstacles? Do you um, overcome? I definitely pray about it. Like me and my team, I have a lady called Selena who does my PR, my manager, Didi. We're all females. So we get it really bad in this <laughs> industry, unfortunately. But we're very, you know, we're all about God and our family. So we just keep on telling ourselves, you're going to go through trials and tribulations. Of course. But the end result in Jesus' name will be worth it. So mm. just dust them off. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which is good. Obviously, coming from X Factors, oh, I look at you today. Um, have you, fi have you finali finalized an LP yet? Are you? I'm 
putting it together. Together, okay. Yes. So we, no release date yet. No, we were going to initially release um, it in May, but we are currently potentially going through a signing. Okay. So if we do that, we can't release it till maybe December. Okay. That's amazing. Thank you. Yes. So growing up, I'd like to go back. I'm okay. so sorry. Growing up, what songs did you listen to? Growing up, my dad is my dad is 74. Wow. And my mum is four. She's 50 now. Mm. So they both come from different eras. So my mum is Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. So she's really African. So your church <laughs> songs, yeah, to the core. And then my dad is English, but he lived in Africa for 50 years of his life. So I had English songs, Diana Ross, you know, so I, everything, I listened to everything. Mm. Good, great. And then collaborations, do you intend collaborating with artists and which one would you prefer? Um, we actually have a few collaborations so far. Um, we have a few, one with Inyanya, mm -hmm. Wizkid, and hopefully, fingers crossed, Burner Boy. Burn yeah, because I really love him. He's yeah, doing he's amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's so he's, talented. He's, yeah, he is. Yeah, we're looking forward to him coming over for a big show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, so what artists are you really feeling right now, Afrobeat wise, in Nigeria and the UK? Definitely Burner Boy, as I said. <laughs> okay. I think like he brings back that old school element yes, but makes it yes, modern. Yes. He reminds me of a modern day fella, mm -hmm. in my own opinion, he does. Mm -hmm. A whiz kid, because he opened up the whole industry to the Western world. Well, yeah. What he's done is incredible. Tiwa Savage, because she really, honestly, she paved the way for, for everyone. Females. Yeah, she, she, she was the first woman I looked to for my career. I was like, okay, wow, this is a great example of what I can do. Amazing. Yeah. I like Baja. Like of course, that, that is very, <laughs> very indigenous. Yeah. That is so indigenous. And do you, apart from singing, because I, I, you know, a lot of artists who would go from singing into doing so many stuff, um, do you have other projects that you would love to work on, say, like in the future, say, like in years to come? Mm -hmm. Definitely. I studied fashion at a school called Central St. Martins. Okay. So I would definitely love to branch out and do something with fashion. And one thing I would definitely love to do is open up a performing arts school in Nigeria. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, will you, yeah. will you want to be an actress? Will you want to be uh, not an actress? I if I can even <laughs> ask. The only acting I did was in the Ice Prince movie, <laughs> and I'll leave it there. I'm not good at acting at all. Well, but I, I think, well, I think well, when you're talented at singing, those mm. things just come naturally. naturally. You could actually yeah. just always double into it we'll pray about it <laughs> we'll pray about it any open coming shows oh yes i'm performing at um in england the the a dna destination yeah, yeah destination Africa. Africa. that's going to yes. be a huge huge, huge. that's huge. big huge. it's not going to turn right yeah, now you I'm, know people I'm, very yeah. nervous but I think excited. I think every artist we've had here today has talked about you know about, performing yeah. at destination really? Africa yeah. yes yeah. So it is and what are you looking really. forward to on that night i'm I'm looking forward to Wendy Cole. Okay. Because I've never seen him perform live, but okay. I love his stuff. Mm -hmm. And also DRB. DRB. I have a song yeah. coming out with Bodge today okay. from DRB. Okay. So I'm. Because we're going to perform it together mm -hmm. for the first time. So mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to On stage on that. that day, yeah? Yeah. And then is this going to be your first UK stage performance or which other performance you've done? I've done quite a few Love in the you, UK. Okay. I've done. I've been touring quite a bit, mm -hmm. so but it'll be my first one in London. In London, okay. So wow, we look forward to that. Go good. Yeah. We look forward to that. So talk about Nigeria. We have to move back to Africa, and you know, and just gonna start all over from there. Yes, you, that's what you, you, we're planning on doing. Wow. Well, I'm first gonna go, but I just came back two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was at the Yanya album launch. Launch, okay. okay. But um, I plan on going back for three months because I feel like you really need to go back home to set yourself. You do? Yeah, I really do feel okay. like, so I'm gonna go back for three months, make sure everything is concrete, mm. and then move back, or just go by coastal, <laughs> depending on what happens. <laughs> okay. yeah. well, depends. So how did they receive you? Um, at the con um, yeah, your concert. The how concert. was your show? It yeah. was, it was an, he's incredible. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing night. Mm -hmm. There was so many acts. I think there was about 30 people performing. On stage? It was wow. so, it was a production, literally. <laughs> but uh, a lot of people came because they wanted to see who this Lola Ray girl Lola was. Because yeah. 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 I released the video here and it kind of transpired in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, okay, we want to come and see. So the response was really good. Mm. A lot of people said that they didn't expect me to perform 
good life, <laughs> which was, which is, I don't know if that's an insult. <laughs> no, <laughs> it is you. actually a compliment. <laughs> yeah. It means you stepped yeah. the game and you put yeah. it off. Um, I'm, I was actually drawn to a lot, a lot of things that you said, um, talking about every sentence you make has to do with Jesus, God, I pray about it, and yeah. that is very impressive. Thank it's you. very difficult to see someone who's in the secular world talking about God, and a lot of people think that you can actually be in the secular world and actually have a strong faith. So how have you managed to balance that? My mom is ex she literally every Sunday church every day we have to pray so I've been raised up around a family that really is about God and oh, everything yeah. I do my mom has taught me you have to do it with God oh, that's good. and so that's even before we I remember we have a video um, of us about to start filming the Watch My Tingo video and um, the director's like no I have to set up and my sister goes God doesn't whip for anybody <laughs> so you know what well, really about God everything I do it is wow, that's, that's beautiful good. and um, you. when you don't go studio you don't perform what do you do to relax like I mean I really don't relax honestly so I know it's 24 7 it's 24 I'm up till yesterday I was up till 5 a.m because wow. we were just setting up some stuff there must be something you do like you know what do you know to take, about to this take the, the stress I just off. need to relax my head I, like I, I eat <laughs> <laughs> which is bad <laughs> um i dance the, okay it, it's nothing like but it's always to do with music, music. music. Okay. yeah it's wow. always to do with music so do you have sometimes have like a low moment where you just want to shut off and just mm. be by yourself yes do you so sometimes much, have that so much okay. I, it's when i'm in studio because i'm very much work orientated when i do get a little time to myself i don't pick up my phone and a lot of people they get at me they're like oh my god rachel yeah. but i'm i'm like no this is this is my time let me yeah. just i do that a lot because yeah. then i think that's how i can actually just distress and just yeah, relax exactly yes so it is good it's it like yoga but, you know, yeah. it's just like you don't get into the sitting position <laughs> but yeah it's like yoga exactly so great that's yeah so i need to you work here, any new project at the moment um I'm thinking of really because I've already recorded all my songs. songs okay. So I'm how many thinking, tracks we're looking at? This about fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. yeah. So Initially, like I was only doing ten. Any favorite yeah. one? Any favorite ones for the fans? Like I have one coming out, which is a complete new sound. Okay. Um, it's called "Beat My Drum" and it's a dance track. But I really feel like people are going to love this record. Mm -hmm. I hope so, anyway. Okay. Great. So that could be coming out at the end of the mm. month. Do you write your music? Yes. All of them? All of them. I work with a guy called P2J. Okay. He vocally produces me and he basically created the Lola Ray project. Because nice. after Britain's Got Talent, I used to work with him and he taught me everything from scratch. Because on Britain's Got Talent was my first time I ever sang to anyone. I didn't even know I could sing. And we we're encouraged. <laughs> we'd also love to hear you sing. We gave that encouragement. We told you, you know what, go to um, X Factor. How did you get Britain's Got Talent? Yeah. It was part of a Britain's dance Got Talent. So. Yeah. Oh, well, we were in a dance group for mm. two, three years, and then the choreographer was like, let's go on Britain's Got Talent. Wow. And then, obviously, we're a dance group. He was like, but we need to do a twist. And he heard me singing. He was like, you should definitely sing. sing I was yeah. like, mm? <laughs> I was like, in what country? I don't know. And then he was like, no, trust me. And then it was me and a couple other friends that sang. And... Honestly, I, I can, I even sometimes when I look back, I can feel my nerves because I was just like, oh my God, no, no, my parents have heard me sing, but thank God it was received well. Great. And are you going to sing here today? Oh, wow. I'm just no? recovering from a sore throat. <laughs> <laughs> but That's definitely right. come to the yeah. DNA concert. So, yeah, yeah. 28th, 28th right? of April, yeah? Yes. Uh, that's yes. sync uh, in Stratford. Yes, yeah, sync okay. in Stratford. Any words of aspiring, uh, words of encouragement. Uh, encouragement for young artists out there? I would definitely say, um, no matter what is put in your way, no matter what people tell, I was told so many times that after Britain's Got Talent, I should forget what I'm doing, you know, mm. I should just leave it alone, you know, but I pushed and I prayed. Like, honestly, prayer mm. and Never God is your up. best friend. Never, yes. ever give up. When people used to say on TV, I'd be like, please, please. whatever. <laughs> but it's so true. Never, it ever works. give up. Yeah. Great. So, nice fan so fantastic. You. Thank you so much for having me. Everybody. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Because I watch you guys show. on TV. You and I'm like, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having Thanks me. For Thank you so much and for coming. We're going to be there live on the 28th. Same. Oh, to see amazing. you. To see you perform of course. live. Yeah. You can tell me what you think. We'll, we'll root for you. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you, definitely. Thank you so, so much. We wanted to introduce your video right now okay. to our viewers. That's your camera. Ah, hello. <laughs> my name is Lola Ray, and you're about to watch my video. Watch my tingo. I hope you enjoy it.